Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is a little bit more fashion forward. We're doing three looks with one sunglass, a Fendi sunglass. And the reason why I've done three looks is to show you how you can integrate a really cool frame and sunglass into your everyday style. We've got the three looks, I'll walk you through them all and I'll have a little chat about why I chose the things I did. So yeah, stay tuned. So basically, the first look that I've gone with is a very casual one. I try to imagine myself popping to the shops, popping out for a dog walk, maybe popping and meeting someone, grabbing a little coffee and going for a walk. Very casual, very easy, just a bit of a throw on outfit, but still kind of put together. So what I decided to go with, I went with an easy jumper, easy hoodie, just to really give off that casual look. Um, I didn't want to go with a color, color or anything with the hoodie as well because I kind of wanted some other pieces to pop out so I wanted that to blend in a little bit more. I then decided to go with a nice quilted black coat. I wanted that to kind of correlate with the sunglass itself and I actually paired that with a phone case frame chain. Um, it's black and gold which I thought went really nicely as an accessory alongside the outfit with the sunglasses. I just really felt that kind of it tied it together. So it gave off that, you know, I'm very casual. I've just chucked this on to pop to the supermarket, but I know what I'm doing at the same time. This isn't my first time on the radio. I just went some, with some really easy leggings as well, just to be realistic, because I want to be realistic that if I popped on a full length dress and said I'm gonna to pop to the supermarket, I would be lying because I wouldn't have done that. I probably would have chucked on some leggings. So it just feels really easy, really casual, but it just adds a little bit of smartness with the pop of the sunglass as well. So I really like this look because for me, it's a realistic one. And obviously did a little cheeky claw clip as well but that also might have had something to do with the fact I forgot to brush my hair before shooting this bit. So, you do what you can. So yeah, that's the first look. So, my second look that I've gone for, the picture that I imagined in my head was a something smart casual that felt a bit more like spring. Also easy to pop on and not too much going on but it just feels a little bit funkier. So what I've gone with on this one is a black and white smart with buttons play suit. I love a cheeky play suit because it doesn't feel as smart as a dress, but doesn't feel as dressed down as a pair of joggers. So why I chose this was because one, it feels quite smart when I'm wearing it. Um, you don't have to do a lot to the outfit and I really like the buttons at the front. I think it just kind of gives off that smarter, more put together look. And of course the black and white. I tied in the black and white again purely because I feel a frame like this that has its gold accents on it like it does with the logo of the Fendi. I do personally feel like that needs to speak for itself. You don't want too much going on when you are kind of going for maybe a more understated, easy, classic look. I keep saying the word easy because I'm trying to show how you don't have to go above and beyond and go crazy with your outfits to really style something simple, easy, like I said. Um, also, the outfit's really comfortable. I always say that, which sounds ridiculous, but don't constrict yourself in something so unbelievably tight and difficult to wear just for it, because it goes with the sunglasses. Find something that feels comfortable and easy for you to wear, integrate that sunglass or that frame into your own style. You should feel yourself, you should feel like you can go anywhere and everywhere in what you're wearing. 
and I really wanted this look to tie together in a simple way. I decided to go with my hair down, not only because I didn't realise how terrible my hair looked in the claw clip, but um, yeah, that actually was the reason. It looked terrible in the claw clip. I extremely regret it, but it's down now and I, I, I like it better. It feels, feels better. So yeah, that's the second look. And we've got one more to go, one more. So the third and final look, I've gone for something a little bit more mysterious. I decided to go for a black ensemble again. I know it's been a lot of black, but I'm also being honest about my own style. I tend to go more colorful in my accessories. But what I decided to go for is something that can transition into a bit more of an evening look. Maybe pop to a restaurant, go for a couple of drinks, if I'm being really honest. What I chose was a simple black pant. I really love black trousers. For me, I wear them often because they're not as casual as a jean and you can smarten them up or you can dress them down. And I tend to wear them where they're long around the ankles as well, so they just pull a little bit. I do like that personally. Then I decided to go for a really cool All Saints leather jacket. This actually has black fur around the collar, which I think can really accessorize with the sunglasses as well, rather than feeling like you need to put on much more. So I do personally prefer to wear this done all the way up so you can really accent that collar. Um, I've gone with my hair a bit bigger and curlier as well in this, just to kind of give that more um, mysterious look to it as well. Almost looking like you've really not made an effort to get ready, but you have. Um, and I just really like this look with the sunglasses. I think it really makes it look so cool, sleek, and to be honest, with the leather jacket as well, you feel very cool your attitude changes when you're wearing them. And I just think it's a bit of a easy wear look again, yet it's not boring. So I'll definitely be wearing this at some point soon. So if anybody sees me out and about in this, don't judge me, I do re-wear my outfit. So yeah, I do, I do love this one, definitely. So guys, that is three looks for one sunglass. Let me know if you like anything. Please don't judge me too hard. I wanted to go simple because some things I wear are a bit out of the box. Stay tuned for our next video. I'm sure there'll be one very, very soon. If you like stuff like this, let us know because we'll try a couple of different styles as well. Try a couple of different kind of frames. The world's our oyster. So. Follow us on all our socials, Instagram, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And please comment and like, we love to hear from you. And we will see you on the next one. Bye.